Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Terrell here. Gonna do your January read. Uh, it is a general read, so will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Um, always feel free to comment down below. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me for a private reading, all my information is in the description box. As well as if you want to follow me on Instagram, if you have Instagram, feel free to follow me there. That information is in the description as well. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to click the little notification bell because I'll be doing a yearly spread right away here. Um, so that'll give you a notification of that. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Universe, what do we got for Aries for January? It's coming up for Aries. All right, Aries. So the first thing I got is I have you feeling defeated. I feel like you've been patiently waiting um, for the right opportunity, but thus far it hasn't come along and it's got you feeling defeated. But I feel like you're very defensive. You know, I feel like you've been waiting for the right opportunity. It hasn't really manifested itself it's almost like, I mean, like, you know what you want, and you're not willing to compromise that, which is a good thing. But I feel like it's almost like you're too defensive. Like, it's almost like you don't allow anybody the time to, to show you who they really are. It's, like, it's almost like you, you have, you know, it's like you're waiting for the right person. But you're feeling defeated because it's like, why is, you know, you're not getting that right person. It's, it's like you keep getting these offers from these, you know, these people that, you know, you're not emotionally attached to. You know, you're getting these offers from people that aren't genuine. They don't seem genuine. You know what you want and you're patient in waiting for that. But I feel like coming up. And like this recently, you've been feeling defeated by this. You've been feeling defeated by the fact that why isn't the right person coming? And I feel like your defenses are up, your walls are up and people pick up that vibe. You know, I feel like, I feel like there is somebody coming towards you. Somebody that you're going to have fun with. You have the Sagittarius energy. Somebody that wants, you know, that's going to show you a good time. And I feel like as long as your walls are up, you may not let this person in. You need to trust your intuition. We got the high priestess. Don't ever compromise what you want. But you need to allow people to show you who they really are. You can't just assume. You can't just have your walls up and just... Like, you got two sides here. It's like you're waiting for somebody. You're waiting for that right person. You know what you want. You know what it is you want from a per partner. And you're, and you're okay with waiting for it. But I feel like, you know, there's times when you have that defeated, you know, that defeated energy. It's like, why isn't the right person coming? Like, but I feel like it's because your walls are up too high. You know, it, it's okay to let people in once in a while. And it, it's, you know, sometimes people coming towards you, you, you may get a vibe from them or you may hold past grudges from a past relationship. You know, you might see something in a new person and then just automatically assume that they're gonna be like a past person. You know, I don't feel like that's, you know, that's working. And like I said, it's got you feeling out of balance, like that defeated. It's got you feeling out of balance. It's like, you know what you want, but you're not getting it. And you don't understand why. It's because your walls are up. 
people pick up that vibe. You know, the right people are coming, you know, when they, when they meet you and, you know, they're attracted to you, there's no forward movement in that. That Queen of Swords in reverse, there's no forward movement because they, 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 they can sense that your walls are up. But I feel like this new person that's coming towards you, like I said, this person got that Sagittarius energy and they, you know, they want to move forward with you. There's some new energy. And with that Sagittarius energy, I feel like they're going to keep pushing until they get through those walls. You know, they're going to fight for you. You know, knowing what you want, trusting your intuition here. You know, I feel like the reason you're not getting the right person in the past, or as of lately, what's got you feeling defeated is the right person hasn't come along, and you're not understanding why, but your walls are up. And I feel like it's because, you know, as an Aries, you're a winner. You know how to pick them. And that's just something that's in you. Uh, the universe is, is, is just trying to tell you that all these, these other people that were coming toward you, they weren't worth your time. They weren't willing to work at it. This person coming toward you, this Sagittarius energy coming toward you, is a new energy. You know, they're going to want to move forward with you. And with that Sagittarius, they're going to stubbornly come at you. And they're going to keep coming at you. And you need to trust your intuition and realize this person really wants to be with you. I feel like you're going to feel a strong connection to this person. So, like, sometimes when we have... When, when people know what they want, sometimes it's hard. You know, it gets hard. There's days when we're like, do we want too much? That's not the case. You don't want too much. The universe is just throwing... You know, the universe is just telling you these people aren't worth your time. The person that's going to be worth your time is the person that's going to put the effort in to show you who they are. Um, like I said... I don't feel like I don't feel like your expectations are too high here. I feel like it's a matter of you know you're not let, willing to let your guard down, but that's fine because this person coming toward you doesn't care that you have your guard up. They want to be with you, you know. They feel that strong connection to you, and you're gonna feel a, a strong connection with you. And you need to trust your intuition on this, and realize that this person isn't gonna get up, give up until they get what they want. And they want you. And that's not a bad thing. I don't want to, I don't want you to think that as a bad thing. Like this person sees you as as the person they want to be with. You know? And I feel like that connection you're gonna have with them is because the universe is telling you that this is the right person. This is the person that has what you want. You know, you know what you want. This person knows what they want. And like I said, that patience, you know, don't get down on yourself because you've been patiently waiting. And sometimes, some days it's going to seem like, you know, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. It's just the wrong people keep coming towards you. But that's going to change. Coming up in January, like, if you haven't already met this person, you're going to meet this person. This person is going to be fun. They're going to get you out of that shell. They're going to break down your walls. And they're going to make you, they're going to show you that there is still good people out there. And they're going to show you that, you know, they're going to make you feel very fulfilled. They're going to fill your cups up. They're going to make you happy. But like I said, just don't ignore your intuition on this. I feel like, you know, that old habit of keeping your walls up, it's going to be hard to let your walls down. But I feel like this person's going to be stubborn. They know what they want and they're going to keep, they're going to keep, you know, making that move toward you. And I only see good things happening here. With this new person. Like I said, they're going to make you feel very fulfilled. We got that lover's energy. Strong connection. Um, we also got the Hierophant. So, you know, not only is it a strong connection, but I feel like this is something that could be the real deal. You know, this could be your soulmate. This, You know, it, it, it's okay. And, you know, maybe you maybe you get that thing, you, you get a little defensive, it's, and it's because you feel defeated. You feel defeated, so it comes off as defensive. It's almost like, you know... I'm a good person. I deserve the best. So why aren't people coming toward me? And it's because people understand that you're a winner. People understand that you expect more. And this new person coming toward you is going to bring it. They got more for you. They want to be with you. They want to make you happy. You make them happy. They see you in a different light. 
You know, they see your walls up as their way of proving to you that they can get through it. And when they get through it, they want more. And this is the type of person that you want. You want a person that's going to fight for you. You want a person that's going to bring that fire. Because you're all about fire. You're the queen of fire. And I mean, when we say the queen of fire, I, you know, the male, female, I don't want you, you know, if you're a male, I don't want you to think you're the queen of fire. But I'm saying, you know, you know what you want. You're a winner. Aries are winners. First, first in the, in the signs. I mean, they know what they want. Don't ever, don't ever, don't ever um, worry about expecting too much. You expect what you expect. And it's good to expect. But I feel like this new person coming towards you, just trust your intuition. That's all I can say to you about that. You know, there's going to be a strong connection. They're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. This person is going to bring it. And, and they want to be with you. They want to make you happy. And I feel like they will make you happy. And I see a lot of good things coming. And, you know, long term. This person is going to be, you know, is going to make you rethink what you, you know, what you were thinking. So don't get discouraged. Sometimes when we know what we want, it's harder to get people. But that's a good thing. You know, some people are willing to take anything. But the people that know what they want and, and are patiently, are willing to wait for it, they're going to find the people that really matter. You know, they're not going to put up with the bullshit. They're, you're not going to get those, you know, uh, players. You're not going to get those people that are just kind of use you. Because you know what you want. And knowing what you want is half the battle. Not taking any shit or anything less than what you think you deserve. That's, that's what people envy about. You know, a lot of people are envious about Aries because of that. But that's okay. Knowing what you want is a good thing. I feel like you put up with a lot of shit in the past. And that's why you got your walls up. You're not accepting any low ball offers. And you shouldn't. So that's what I got for you, Aries. Look out for that coming up in, you know, in January. Um, and like I said, always trust your intuition. If you feel like you deserve more, then, then wait for it. And I feel like your wait is almost over. But this person's coming toward you and they, they're bringing it. And they're gonna break down those walls. So what you've been waiting for is coming. That's what I have for you.